Hello there my friends, welcome back to Eberfilm Stars. In this video we're gonna check out 32 best American martial arts actors that dominated the 70s through the 90s. Let's start. Dolph Lundgren Dolph Lundgren in 1978 attained the rank of second Don Black Belt in Kyokushin. Since then, he has appeared in over 80 action films. Recently, he revealed that he had been battling kidney cancer. He also starred in a series of Old Spice advertisements. Jean-Claude Van Damme Van Damme is best known for his martial arts action movies. He's well-versed in karate, kickboxing, Muay Thai, as well as Taekwondo. In 2022, Van Damme voiced the actor Jean-Claude in the computer animation film Minions – The Rise of Gru. Steven Seagal Steven Seagal is a 7th Dan black belt in Aikido, which is a modern Japanese martial art that is split into many different styles. He started acting in 1988 as a leading man. Seagal hasn't acted since 2019, but he has two movies in the works. He is now Russia's special envoy to the US. Michael Jai White White is well-versed in Shotokan, Goju-ryu, Taekwondo, Kobudo, Tang Sudo, Wushu, Jiu-Jitsu, Kyokushin, and Boxing. He got famous for his 1995 role in the movie Tyson. He has since become very famous for his epic roles, his most recent being in the 2023 movie A Snowy Day in Oakland. Jeff Speakman Jeff Speakman is an ardent martial artist well-versed in the art of American Kenpo and Japanese Goju Ryu. He has even earned black belts in each. He hasn't acted in a movie since 2006, but he has risen in the world of martial arts. He was even the president of the International Kenpo Federation from 2008 until 2018. Michael Dudikoff Michael Dudikoff trains in Karate, Aikido, Judo, and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He first starred in several commercials for companies, including Coppertone, Coca-Cola for Japan, and Spridex. He is now a prolific actor with a recent appearance in the 2022 movie, Trailblazers. Don Wilson Don Wilson, aka The Dragon, might just be the greatest kickboxer in American history, with over 80 documented wins and 11 world titles. His acting debut came in the 1982 film, New York Chinatown. He recently starred in the 2022 film, Lockhart, and he has seven more movies in the works. He is currently retired from professional kickboxing. Cynthia Rothrock Cynthia Rothrock is not to be messed with. She's a dangerous martial artist with a black belt in Tang Su Do, Taekwondo, Karate, Eagle Claw, Wushu, Northern Shaolin, and Pai Lum Tao Kung Fu. She holds a rank of 8th Don Grand Master, as well as now being a prolific actress with 14 upcoming movies that she will appear in. Mark Dacascos Mark Dacascos is proficient in Wun Hop Kuen Do, Muay Thai, Capoeira, and Wushu. His breakout role was in the 1993 film Only the Strong as Lewis, a Capoeira master. He just appeared in the 2022 movie The Blade of the 47 Ronin. Lauren Avedon Lauren Avedon is a 9th Don Black Belt and the Grand Master in Taekwondo. At the age of 5, Avedon was already gracing cameras and commercials with his appearance. At 22, he starred in his first film. His last role was in the 2015 film Risk Factor, where he portrayed Rick D'Angelo. James Liu James Liu is skilled in Shaolin Kung Fu, Taekwondo, Hapkido, and boxing. His earliest role was in the 1976 film The Killing of a Chinese Bookie. At age 70, he recently coordinated the stunt work for the series Ultraviolet and Black Scorpion. Jason Scott Lee Jason Scott Lee is well-versed in Jeet Kune Do. His first film role was Born in East L.A., 1987, and his breakout role was in Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. He's currently starring in the Disney series Doogie Kamealoha, M.D., as Benny Kamealoha. Ron Van Cleef Ron Van Cleef, a.k.a. the Black Dragon, is a master at karate, 
proving it with his 10th degree black belt and his status as a five-time world kung fu champion. He recently starred in the 2021 movie Snow Black as Jared Camden. He's been competing in BJJ tournaments since 2015. Tai Mac Tai Mac is a skilled martial artist with a black belt in Goju Ryu Karate, Jeet Kune Do, Wing Chun, Hapkido, Jiu Jitsu, Taekwondo, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He got fame for his role as Leroy Green in the 1985 martial arts film, The Last Dragon. His most recent film is The Fearless Three, where he played the character Master Whale. Chuck Norris Chuck Norris is a black belt in Tang Su Do, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and Judo. After winning so many martial arts championships, he founded his martial arts discipline named Chun Kuk Do. Norris is now a high-octane martial artist, writer, and actor with so many action films he has appeared in. Kathy Long Kathy Long has a black belt in Aikido and Chinese Kung Fu San Su. She's also a master in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Jeet Kune Do, Taekwondo, Kali, and Wing Chun Kung Fu. Long currently teaches what she knows best at Tap Out in Los Angeles. Halal Murhi Halal Murhi is proficient in Taekwondo, Shotokan Karate, and Hungar. He once revealed that he started his film career by selling his jewelry business to start a film production company. He is now recognized worldwide as an action film producer and director who has made over 20 martial arts films. Jeff Imada Jeff Imada is seasoned in Jeet Kune Do, Eskrima, Taekwondo, Tang Su Do, Karate, Shaolin Kung Fu, Kendo, and Boxing. Sounds like he's not to be messed with. Imada works ardently in the stunt coordination department, and he has been working it ever since 1981. Steve Cardenas You know Steve Cardenas for playing the second Red Ranger in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. At age 16, he reached black belt in Taekwondo. He even has a second degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He reprised his role as Red Ranger in the 2023 film Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, once and always. Gerald Okamura Gerald Okamura has trained in Judo, Kendo, Aikido, and Taekwondo. He is currently a 5th degree black belt in Kung Fu San Su. He got his first credited film role in 1980. He has since played an assortment of characters ranging from Yakuza to vampires to bad Elvis impersonators. Chuck Jeffries Chuck Jeffries is trained in Western boxing, Taekwondo, Northern Shaolin Kung Fu, and even Kali, which is a Filipina style of martial arts. Jeffries now holds black belts in several styles of martial arts, such as an 8th degree black sash in Shaolin Wushu. Simon Ri Simon Ri is a world-class martial artist with a 7th degree black belt in Taekwondo and a 4th degree black belt in Hapkido. Aside acting, Ri continues to enjoy teaching and training martial artists at his Woodland Hills TKD Training Center with his panel of black belts. Wesley Snipes Wesley Snipes earned the 5th Dan Black Belt in Shotokan Karate and a 2nd Dan Black Belt in Hapkido. He had his largest commercial success in 1998 with the film Blade as the title character. His latest performance is in the TV miniseries True Story. Gary Daniels Gary Daniels started taking martial arts lessons at the age of 8. He's an aggressive martial artist who is proficient in kickboxing, Muay Thai, Ninjutsu, and Taekwondo. Daniels is a veteran actor, with his most recent role being in the 2023 film Repeater, where he played Henrik Botha. Billy Blanks Billy Blanks' discipline is in Taekwondo, Goju Ryu Karate, and Hung Ga, despite being born with an anomaly in his hip joints that impaired his movement. In 1989, he landed his first acting role. He is the inventor of the popular exercise Tai Bo, a mix of Taekwondo and boxing. Jim Kelly Jim Kelly was the first black actor to become a martial arts film star. He was a master in Shorin Ryu Karate and opened his own school in Los Angeles. Kelly established an enduring iconography with his giant fro. 
Later in life, he became a pro tennis player. He died of cancer in 2013 at age 67. Keith Vitale Once ranked the number one karate fighter in the USA, Keith Vitale is proficient in karate. He was also rated the number five best fighter in the world in full contact karate in the lightweight division. He hasn't acted since 1998. He is also now a child activist as well as an insurance agent. Keith Cook Keith Cook is a master in wushu, taekwondo, and karate. He made his first film appearance in the 1987 film Rampage as an extra. He then got popular for portraying Reptile in the 1995 Mortal Kombat. Cook now runs his own martial arts studio. His last major appearance was in 2012 in the movie Champions of the Deep. Tony Jaa Tony Jaa practices Muay Boran, Muay Thai, Wushu, Judo, and Taekwondo. He's best known for his role in the Thai martial arts film franchise Ong Bak. His most recent appearance was in 2021 on Detective Chinatown 3 as Jock Jock. Jason Statham Jason Statham's fighting abilities stem from his athletic background and specialized training in martial arts practices such as Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Wing Chun Kung Fu, Karate, and Kickboxing. His latest performance came early 2023 in the movie Operation Fortune, Rus de Guerre, portraying Orson Fortune. Scott Adkins Scott Adkins does not really belong on this list, but we have to give him credence where credence is deserved. Adkins gained experience in ninjutsu, krav maga, karate, wushu, aikido, jiu-jitsu, MMA, capoeira, and gymnastics. He recently starred in John Wick 4 as the fat mob boss, Killa Harkin. Bruce Lee Finally, Bruce Lee, the founder of Jet Kune Do. He gained popularity after his first leading role in the 1950 film, The Kid. Lee died on the 20th of July, 1973 at the age of 32. Even in his death, he continues to be an influence on modern combat sports. That's it for the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't hesitate to smash the like button, share and subscribe. See you in the next one.